Do you know the secret thunderstorm recipe? Let's jump right in. And now I present to you the ingredients that are required for thunderstorm formation. For the first ingredient, moisture. In weather, we refer to it as a dew point. You know when you walk outside during the summer or in a day that it's really hot and it feels like you're walking into a wet blanket? That indicates the presence of moisture. The second ingredient, instability. This is a little bit more difficult to explain and to understand. When the atmosphere is unstable, in other words, when instability is present, vertical motion, in other words, motion from the ground up, is encouraged. So if you have an updraft, which we discussed previously, an updraft is a current of air that flows upwards, that would be encouraged with the presence of instability. Ingredient three, a lifting mechanism, AKA a trigger. This air will not rise by itself unless something causes it to do so. And that is what we refer to as a lifting mechanism or a trigger. Examples of that can be a, a cold front, a dry line, an outflow boundary. A lifting mechanism is basically something that gives it that oomph to start going up. And since this series is focused on severe weather, I am going to discuss that fourth ingredient, which is wind shear. So before I start talking about wind shear, I want to explain to you guys, the atmosphere is actually three-dimensional. It's in layers, okay? So it's not flat. I have a visitor. <laughs> So there are two different types of wind shear. The first is known as speed shear, and the second is directional shear. So speed shear is basically when the speed of the wind changes as it goes, as it goes up through the layers of the atmosphere. So for example, at the surface at the ground level, say the winds are 25 miles per hour, three layers up, they're 30 miles per hour. That that indicates speed shear. Directional shear, on the other hand, is when winds change direction with height. So for example, at the surface, let's say the winds are blowing from the southeast. A few layers up, they're blowing from the southwest. That is directional shear. I understand this is all really kind of confusing because it's a lot of information, which is why I'm trying to do it piece by piece by piece by piece and just give it to you in small little chunks. And if you have any questions, message me, comment below. I would love to help. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.